Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about Medicare. Um, many of our patients come into the TCU or other um, units under Medicare coming from the hospital. Um, so this means that a patient has had a qualifying three day or three midnights, I like to say, um, hospital stay at an acute inpatient level. Um, and then they have a skilled need to come to our facility. Um, the skilled need that we typically see is um, therapy, so PT, OT, speech. Um, therapy sessions have to be at least five times per week, five days per week, um, and so many minutes per day. And then they have to continue to make progress during every therapy session um, in order for Medicare to pay for their stay to be here. Once the therapist has determined that the progress is no longer being made, a discharge notification is sent out. So you see that from our therapy department. They have a 48 hour window where um, they can stay on Medicare for 48 more hours and then it needs to discharge. Skilled nursing needs that we see from time to time include G-tube feedings. Um, so that's where the patient is receiving 51% or more of their daily calorie intake. Um, and then another skilled nursing need that we see are daily IV medication administration. Um, for nurses, it's very important to include their skilled need um, in the templated Medicare progress note that we have in Point Click Care when you're charting. Medicare requires daily documentation um, from nursing, so addressing all of those pertinent areas of the Medicare note is so important. Um, it's information in your progress notes that proves to Medicare that the patient was here appropriately and we as a facility get paid for their care. Um, so I'm going to say that one more time. Medicare requires daily documentation and that's by nursing and therapy. Um, so it's not just a Bethany rule that we're um, having you document these notes so much. It's a federal government that looks at this documentation on the daily when they're reviewing insurance appeals. The Medicare progress note has many different prompts in it um, to address, so ensure that you're reading it entirely and addressing everything that you can. Um, don't copy the note from the day before. Don't copy the person um, from the day before. Uh, it needs to be patient specific, day specific. Um, for Medicare patients, we need to be going into the room and doing a full body assessment because um, that is what the Medicare note asks for. Um, full set of vitals. Uh, these patients, these Medicare patients, are at a high risk of returning back to the hospital. So if we can get into the rooms, um, get early recognition of symptoms and early treatments, we can have a better likelihood of caring for the patient in our facility using our capabilities versus sending them back to the emergency room for another hospitalization. Um, Medicare rules, guidelines, I guess, there are a lot of them, um, but a resident gets up to 100 days of Medicare for their benefit period, um, but they're not guaranteed that full time. Um, as stated prior, they have to be continuously hitting their goals and making progress. Um, once that no longer happens, it is expected that we discharge them from Medicare um, with the appropriate notices given to the family and the patient. That's what I talked about a little bit earlier, the 48 hour notices. There's a chance that the, that the um, resident or patient can go back on their benefit period. Um, and I just encourage anyone to visit with me about that if it ever comes up. Um, Medicare is so complex. There's so many different rules, timelines to follow, different scenarios to think of. Um, honestly, I could go on for days talking about Medicare and all the different things around it. So um, if you ever have any questions about Medicare, private insurance, Medicare replacement plans, please reach out to me. I may not have all the answers, but I'll certainly try to find them for you. Thanks.